So, then you put the other end. Let's see if we can grab the one for number one, which I have in another box that I've also numbered. One, two, three, and four. One right here has the old one in it. I'm going to pop that out and take care of that. So, in order to do that, I need to put this here. Off for a second, so I can pop this thing out because it's going to have a hole on it. Push on this one, needs to be taken out. I'm going to one handed <laughs> replace the bearing. Push on this side really hard, pop that bearing out. I'm going to clean it with some brake parts cleaner and pop a new bearing in. and that's going to be tight. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, I've got these end caps here pretty well cleaned out, ready to go. And just to show how uh, easy this is, nothing to it, you put one in here by the way, I use brake parts cleaner and paper towels to clean these up. Put one in, push it into place. Put another one. Oh, let's see, I'll just go up on the piston side here. And get you to get a look at that. Put one here. One handed. Next one. Okay, a little hard to do one-handed. The next one, well, with this out of the way, and um, this one here, I'm going to this one. And so you see it's not an impossible job for anybody to do this. Okay. And the next one. I'm just grabbing them as they come out of the pack. There was no wool on them. I wiped the back of a couple of them. You can clean them with brake parts. Clean them on the back side. Won't hurt nothing. These are polished. I'm ready to go. Okay. And the next two. Okay. So there you go. Make sure you clean this side out with some brake parts cleaner and napkins about twice to get any oil from back there. And if your bearings come old to keep them from rusting, then uh, you clean them with brake parts cleaner before you pop them in. Okay. That should be the end of that. 
and you see I got rubber hoses on the end of these bolts and so when you put the pistons back to the cylinder hole they'll come up and where they meet the crank these won't scratch the new polished crank and there's that